welcome back to my channel. I have another Christmas collection to share with you. This time we have a sugary sweet, actually scented sweet collection from Super Chick Lacquer. This collection launches this Friday, December 7th at superchicklacquer.com. These six new polishes will be available at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And the collection is called Land of Sweets. So it's inspired by the new Nutcracker film. I think it's The Nutcracker and the Four Realms, which I did see, and it's really beautiful, like visually stunning. Each of these polishes is scented with a different sweet scent across the six different polishes. They all incorporate holographic effects, these beautiful, stunning, like glow shimmers, and then these scented properties. To wear them on their own, they're best layered up at three coats. I've worn one today as a topper, and I just love it that way as well. I feel like they're especially nice when you put the base color as something that's complementary to the bright, colorful glow of each polish. I really love that way to wear them as well. So we're going to swatch through all six shades of this collection. If you're interested in purchasing any, don't forget to use my code right here that will get you 10% off your order right off the bat and enter that in the discount code area at checkout. So without any further ado, let's begin swatching. We're gonna go in alphabetical order like we always do, which means we get to start with the darkest shade. This shade is called Bittersweet Oil Spill. So Bittersweet Oil Spill is described as an intensely dark flaky hollow with a flash of bittersweet chocolate undertones scented like a fudge shop. So the colors that I see in here for the glow, the shimmering glow, is I believe the bright red to green shimmer. This does have the larger flakies, but it also has smaller bits in there too. I believe they're micro black glitter. And then of course you have the shimmer. This is in a tinted base. I believe it's a black jelly base there. So it is going to tint whatever you wear this over if you choose to wear this as a topper. But I feel like it looks stunning that way as well as on its own. So as recommended, I'm going to build this up in three thin coats giving each coat a chance to dry before I go in for my second coat. And then for each polish, I am going to be using a nice, thick, glossy top coat. The brand, of course, has their well-known liquid macro top coat, if you would like. They also have some base coats for you to try as well. So this first one is Bittersweet Oil Spill, and it does smell very chocolatey, super, super yummy. If you're a chocolate lover, most of the rest of these are very fruity scented, but this is your deep, rich, sexy, dark chocolate. The next polish happens to be one of my two favorites out of the collection and it is the one that I'm wearing today over a dusty rose shade and I really like that because the shimmer is this bright pink to gold shimmer and so it just looks really, really cool against the rosy base. But you can definitely build this up on its own as well. So this polish is called Don't Eat the Cotton Candy which is funny when I think about this in relationship to that film because the Sugar Plum Fairy's hair looks like cotton candy, so I'm thinking that's where this comes from. Anyway, it's described as an intense cotton candy blue flaky hollow. So at first glance, when you look at this, it looks very pink because that glowing pink shimmer is very strong. But the components inside here are a bright blue, but it's also got this really beautiful like hot pink hollow as well, flaky. It says it has a super vibrant hot pink flash of shimmering undertones. That is a um, shifty pink to gold and it's very glowy, very vibrant. And this says it's scented like a carnival of freshly spun sugar. The next polish that we're gonna look at happens to be my other favorite. I think this one is my very favorite out of the whole collection. It has such an awesomely bright fruity scent. It has beautiful combination of like a minty green and a hot pink and then awesome shimmer. So this polish is called Holly Lolly. I believe in my Instagram video, I kept saying Holly Jolly. I apologize for that. Holly Lolly, I have Holly Jolly on the brain. This polish is described as an intense, wintry, holly green, flaky hollow with a super vibrant, and they aren't kidding, super vibrant hot pink flash of shimmering undertones scented like crisp winter berries. So I definitely smell berry in this, but I kept trying to figure out what it was. And to me, this is super nostalgic for me. It smells like Fruity Pebbles, Fruit Loops, that kind of thing, because it's definitely berry leaning, but I can smell like this bright, crisp citrus as well. And it's delicious, you guys, it's delicious. I really, really like the scent of this one. Now again, I am a person who likes scents. I like the fact that when I pass my hand past my face, I can still smell a scent. Of course, if it's a scent I don't like, 
then it works in the opposite way where I'm like, oh wait, I don't like that. I don't like that scent. I don't like smelling that all day, but I really like fruity scented things. So for me, this is kind of right up my alley. The next polish up is a silver flaky hollow with a super bright purple flash. It's gorgeous, you guys. It's called Spoonful of Sugar Plum. So it goes just perfectly along with that combo of silver to purple. This polish seems to have a little bit more colorant in the base. So it's building up kind of similar to like a gray Crelly, but it is still on the sheer side so that what you're building up is all the shimmer and the flaky holographic component. So Spoonful of Sugar Plum is described as an intensely bright silver flaky hollow with a flash of vibrant shimmering lavender undertones, scented most appropriately like sweet sugar plum. That is for sure. So this polish has different components than the previous three that we looked at. I'm seeing these silver hollow squares and is it triangles? There's a different mix of glitters in here. It still has micro silver glitters in there as well. And then of course it has the gorgeous violet lavender uh, flash going on in this polish. The next polish up that we're gonna look at is the kind of rainbow flaky hollow. This one's called Sugar Buzz and this has yellow holographic flakies, blue and hot pink. There's white, we've got silver in here. So there's really so, so much going on in this polish and this does have another very candy sugary sweet uh, scent to go along with it. So the description for this polish, Sugar Buzz is a super intensely bright, light catching, multicolor flaky hollow that features an array of candy land colors with a hint of shimmering blue undertones. So pretty, deliciously scented like hard candy. So you guys, I love this one for how many colors it's putting on the nail, giving us a little rainbow, which is mostly represented in the larger hollow flakies. And then we still have the silver micro glitters. And then of course that icy blue flash. I do really like the scent on this one. Like I said, I like all of them, but I really like this one. This feels very nostalgic for me as well. So I'm going to build this one up on its own at three coats, like I've been doing for the rest of them. All right, the last polish in the collection is this gorgeous copper, and this is called Sweet Heat. I love this one too, you guys. We have gorgeous copper elements, and then we have like a dark fuchsia element in there as well. I love an orange and a fuchsia together. So, so beautiful. So, Sweet Heat is described as an intense copper rose flaky, hollow, vibrantly accented with shimmering violet undertones. So we've got the violet in there again, the flash of violet, and it's so pretty, you guys. It looks totally different in this polish than in the Sugar Plum one. So it might be a slightly different version of the violet flash because this one looks more fuchsia. It actually complements the fuchsia flaky in this one really, really well. They look like they're from the same familia. So this is scented sweetly yet spicy, like brown sugar with a hint of cinnamon. I love that. I love, love, love cinnamon scented things basically from September through the end of the year. I just wanna have like a cinnamon spiced cider scent in my house. That's my favorite for this time of year. So this is really beautiful, you guys. The copper with that rose is so precious. And that is the end of the collection, you guys. So please tell me what you think. As you know, I've been swatching Super Chick Lacquer for a while now. They are one of my OG brands on my channel. And I'm always just so excited to see what they're gonna come out with next. And I feel like this was a super fun and exciting collection to come out with for holiday. So tell me in the comments below what your favorites are. Do you like scented polish? Do you not so much like a scented polish? Have you seen the new Nutcracker film yet? What did you think? My daughter actually thought that it was rather boring and somewhat scary, but I was fully entertained the whole time. In fact, the best part of the film for me was the gold highlight on the Nutcracker's upper lip. I mean, if you like makeup and you didn't notice that, I will be so surprised. If you are just not really into makeup, maybe you didn't notice it at all. But whenever he was on screen, that's all I could look at. It was the most gorgeous thing I have seen in a really, really long time. You guys are all gonna think I'm a little bit crazy now, but it is seriously gorgeous. I need to watch that movie again just to look at his gold upper lip highlight. <laughs> I know I'm a major, major dork. Okay, you guys, so that is the end of this video. Don't forget you can use my code if you would like to get 10% off on your order. And don't forget the launch time is December 7th, which is tomorrow, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, superchicklacquer.com. 
All of that stuff will be in the description bar below if you want a quick link over there. So you guys, that is it for this video. Thanks for stopping by to hang out with me for a bit. I hope that you found it helpful. I'll see you back for the next one very soon. Take care. Bye.